My name is Ole Bjerg. I'm an associate professor here at the Copenhagen Business School. My paper is called How is Bitcoin Money? I'm, my work is generally in the intersection between philosophy and economics, so I look at economic fundamentals through the lens of philosophy. Um, and I've done quite a bit of work on money as such, general theory of money as such you might say, and I've written this book called Making Money. Uh, and my paper is an application of the analytics developed in this book uh, on the specific phenomena of Bitcoin. The analysis in brief, the analysis of the paper is that I uh, analyzed Bitcoin by comparing it to three different ideal typical notions of money. One is the commodity theory of money, the second is the state theory of money, and the final is the credit theory of money. And the conclusion of the analysis is expressed in a slogan, you might say, it could be that um, Bitcoin, it seems to, it doesn't quite, it takes elements of each of the three types of money, but it doesn't fit into either one of them, neither. So we can say that Bitcoin is commodity theory without gold, it's fiat money without a state, and it's credit money without debt. What I want to achieve with the paper is that I want to bring out a certain potential that I find in Bitcoin. And this potential is not necessarily so much an economic potential, but perhaps rather philosophical or ideological uh, potential. Because I think one of the main benefits of Bitcoin and the emergence of Bitcoin is that it provokes our thinking about money as such. Since now there's an alternative currencies that provokes us to start questioning also what we perceive as conventional money. And that's what I want to achieve with the paper. So the paper is not just an analysis of Bitcoin, but the analysis also reflects back onto conventional money and invites us, if you like, or provokes us to think about what is actually conventional money.